Right on, muchachos and muchachas. Welcome to this first lesson of the book. I don't know what the name of this book, but anyway, it is called a pre-intermediate, I guess. But there are so many definitions, we don't even know. So I'm going to present to you a little bit about this first lesson, which is called Where Are You From? I'm going to revise some notions of nationalities, countries, languages, and the places of origin, things you can say about where you're from, right? So probably you know the expression, where are you from? So you have to pay attention how you pronounce this, because at the end you have this M and you have to sound it like this, from, you don't say from. From doesn't exist. You have to say from. Where are you from? And then we learn nationalities and we learn countries, right? So let me share with you a little bit about the history of the countries. Not so much their history, but uh, how you define them. Look, there are so many countries in the world. I don't know how many, but many countries. And we are all from somewhere. Yeah, so let me show you the example. These are the countries and these are the nationalities. So I want you to listen and repeat, all right? You can repeat with your cat, with your dog, with your friends, whoever's there with you, all right? So repeat with me, Peru. Peru, yes, the sound of R, right? Peruvian, keep repeating, all right? Pretend I'm listening to you. Argentina, Argentinian, repeat, Brazil, Brazilian, Mexico, Mexican. Yes, are you, are you repeating? I guess you are. Spain, Spanish, Germany, German, Italy, Italian, not Italian, Italian. France, French. Canada, Canadian. United States of America, American. China, Chinese. Korea, Korean. Thailand, Thai. Japan, Japanese. All right, so these are some of the countries we're going to study. There are many more countries in the world. You have to know their names. So take a look at a good map and remember your geography lessons, right? So this is an example. We're going to practice now a little bit using this example. Where are you from? So we're going to use the UK and the USA, South Africa, Canada. Thank you. So take a look at this. Um, first of all, we have to remember the present tense, verb be, and the contracted forms, right? Let me show you this, uh, plus end. Okay, so everybody knows how to use this, right? I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are, right? So th this is the basic form of the verb to be in the present, right? So, for example, you can also contract are not and is not like this. You are not Italian. You're not Italian. You can say you aren't and you are not. It's the same. You're not, you aren't. She is not, she isn't. She is not, she isn't. It's the same, right? And this is the interrogative form. Everybody remembers this. Are you Spanish? Are you Brazilian? Where are you from? Don't use contractions and short answers. For example, are you Korean? Yes, I am. You never say yes, I am. For example, are you Brazilian? Yes, I am. You never say yes, I'm, unless you repeat the whole sentence. You say, are you Brazilian? Yes, I'm Brazilian. Are you French? Yes, I'm French. Whenever I, I'm, just I'm alone. It's, it's incorrect. Okay, let's move on. So this is an example. Um, the guy is asking a question, where are you from, China? So you he, he looked at the girl and he supposed she was Chinese, right? Or, or the guy. And then he said, no, she's not from China. She's from Japan. Yeah, I'm Japanese. 
Are you Venezuelan? No, I'm not. I'm Colombian. No, I am not. I'm Colombian. Yeah, uh, nobody uses that. You know, imagine you go to a, an international convention and you see different people, all nationalities, and you try to guess where they're from. You say, are you American? Yes, I am. Are you Japanese? No, I'm Chinese. Nobody asks these questions, right? But it's a way to interact. Where are you from? We are from the USA. We're American. Uh, notice that you never use Americans, right? We are Americans. No, we are American. I am American. We are American. I am Brazilian. We are Brazilian. Brazilians, not so much, right? We're Brazilians. No, we're Brazilian because Brazilian is an adjective. It's a quality, right? Another example. Where is he from? He's from Korea. He's Korean. Where is she from? She's from Canada. She's Canadian. Where are they from? They're from England. They're English. Okay, so these are some examples. Now, never forget to use capital letters for countries and nationalities. This is capital letter, right? The capital C, Canada, Canadian. It doesn't matter if it's in the beginning of the sentence, in the middle of the sentence, or at the end of the sentence. You always use capital letter when you talk about a country or a nationality, right? So let's move ahead with another exercise. Now pay attention to this. Uh, I'm going to show you an example and you're going to repeat in your house, in your own home, right? So the question is, where are you from? Now you see the country here, right? The country is China. So what you're going to say is this. I'm going to ask you the question, where are you from? And you're going to answer, I'm from China. And then I'm going to ask you a second question. Uh, what's your nationality? You're going to say, I'm Chinese. Chinese. And then I'm going to ask you a third question. Uh, what language do you speak? And you're going to say, I speak Chinese or I speak Mandarin. Okay, very simple. So let's let's try again. Where are you from? You look at the map and you say the country, right? Let's let us test your English. Where are you from? Yes, I'm from China. What is your nationality? I'm Chinese. Okay, keep repeating. What languages do you speak? I speak Chinese or I speak Mandarin. Okay, now let's move on with another example. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. What is your nationality? I'm German. What language do you speak? I speak German. Okay, just let's move on. Let's move on. Where are you from? I'm from Australia. What is your nationality? I'm Australian. What languages do you speak? I speak English. Of course, Australia speaks English, right? It was a former British colony. That's why they speak English. They don't speak kangaroo, right? Okay, let's go. Where are you from? I'm from Ireland. What is your nationality? I'm Irish. What language do you speak? Or what languages do you speak? I speak English and I speak Irish, both, right? Two official languages in the country. Where are you from? Yes, I'm from Italy. What is your nationality? I'm Italian. What language do you speak? I speak Italian. Okay, very good. A lot of different food here in Italy, right? Salami, cheese, pasta, wine, water, radici. I don't know how to say that. Where are you from? 
What is your nationality? What languages do you speak? I'm from India, I'm Indian, I speak Hindi, I speak English. Oh, this is the, the most famous song, the Huma song. Listen to this, it's very crazy. Where are you from? I'm from South Korea. From, touch your M, from South Korea. What is your nationality? I'm South Korean. What language do you speak? I speak Korean. Okay. Have you ever heard of CN Blue? This South Korean band, boy band? Never listened to it. Where are you from? What is your nationality? What language do you speak? So I'm from Brazil. I'm Brazilian. I speak Brazilian. I speak Portuguese. Yeah, Brazil. Where are you from? I'm from France. What is your nationality? What language do you speak? Very good, you're doing all right, I suppose. Uh, these are some of the exercises we have and these are some of the, the exercises I'm gonna send to you uh, by classroom. Now, let me show you this on the book right now. Mm -hmm. So the first lesson is where are you from? What do you do? I mean, college. Okay, so let me show you this. Vocabulary and speaking. Take a look. You have to complete the sentences. Okay. How do you complete these sentences? Where are you from? Where were you born? Where do you try to complete these sentences? I'm going to give you a minute. Yeah, and I guess you know them, right? Where are you from? Where were you born? Where do you live? Do you live in a house or in an apartment? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any pets? Okay, now listen to the sentences and repeat them. Okay, number one, where are you from? Where are you from? Keep repeating. Two, where were you born? Look, where were, where were, where were, where, where were you born? Where do you live? It's not leave, live, not live, live. Where do you live? Do you live in a house? or an apartment. Now repeat, do you have any brothers or sisters? Pay attention. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? No, I do. Yeah, you go up, it goes up. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any pets? Like a dog, a cat, etc. Okay. So now this is for conversation, right? You have to answer these questions. If you know how to answer these questions, it's all right. But if you cannot speak with anybody else, I want you to write down these answers. For example, you, you write down questions from one, two, three, four, five, six questions. Uh, where are you from? You can say, I'm from Brazil. I'm Brazilian. I speak Portuguese, right? Second question, where were you born? I was born in Renascença, Marmeleiro, Francisco Beltrão, São Paulo, Tasmania. I was born. Yeah, not I was Ozzy Osbourne. I was born. I was born in Japan. I was born in Paraná. I was born in Pato Branco. Yeah, you say I was born in, and then you say the the, the year. I was born in Pato Branco in 1998. 
I was born in Pato Branco in 2001. I was born in Pato Branco in 2003. It doesn't matter, right? Where do you live? I live in Pato Branco. I live in Beltrão. I live in Curitiba. I live, I don't know. Do you live in a house or in an apartment? I live in a house. I live in an apartment. This is very easy, right? And the question where, do you have any brothers or sisters? This any refers to how many brothers or sisters you have, okay? Job studies. What do you, what do you do? This is a question. What do you do? What do you do is a question to find out, to discover what people do, right? To discover their occupation, their profession, right? What do I do? I'm a teacher. I'm a professor at the university. What do you do? Are you a student? You can say, yes, I am. Are you a secretary? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Are you a salesperson? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. So now you have to study the professions. How many professions do you know how to say in English? A teacher, a nurse, a doctor, a mechanic, a pilot, a driver. What else? A cook, a firefighter. There are so many professions in English, right? What do you do? And the question is, what do you study? I study English. I study literature, English and literature. Language and arts. I study architecture, I study medicine, I study biology, I study chemistry, I study physics. What do you study? I study English. Okay, next question. Where do you work? I work at a bank. At a bank, at a bank. Oh, maybe I should show you something about this, right? Because if you don't know how to write this, this becomes a little bit complicated. Let me show you how to write this. Um, let me make this a little bigger. Let me show you with this. Yeah. I work at a bank. I work at a school. I work at a store. Yeah, you have to pay attention to this uh, this pronunciation here. At a, at a bank, at a school, at a store. You can say I work at a bank. Yeah, where do you work? I work at a bank. At a bank. I work at a school. I work at a university. I work at a store. Where do you work? Do you work? Yeah. So this is the question. What school college do you go to? What school or college or university do you go to? I go to UTFPR, the federal university. I go to the university. Do you like your job? So if you work, do you like your job? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Mm, so so not so much i don't like my job so much this is what year are you in this is 2021 right 2021 this is the year we're in can you speak any other languages which can you speak english yes i can no i can't can you speak Spanish? No, I can't. Yes, I can. Can you speak Italian? Can you speak French? Can you speak Japanese? Can you speak Chinese? Can you speak Korean? Can you speak Scottish? Scottish? English? And the other question is, where did you study English before? Where did you study English before? Study. I studied. Then you go to the past, right? The past is, I studied <clears throat> English oh, at UTFPR. Or you can say, I never studied.
studied English before. I never studied English before. Where did you study English before? Have you ever studied English? Have you ever? Have you ever studied English? This is an important question. Have you ever in your life, your whole life, have you ever studied English? Yes, I have. Where did you study English? I studied English at UTFPR. Okay, so these are some of the sentences we can use and there is a little more here to complete. So let's go. Free time. What kind of music do you? What kind of music do you? Listen to, okay. To you, a musical instrument. To you, play a musical instrument. What TV shows do you? Watch. Do you, any sports? Do you? Do not play. You can say play, yeah. Do you play sports? Yeah. But do you do any sports? Do you do any sports? Which ones? Basketball, volleyball, soccer? What kinds of books or magazines do you? Hmm? Do you read? What kind of books? What kinds of books or magazines do you read? How often do you to the movies? How often do you go to the movies? Okay, movies, it's the place. Avan, there is a movie theater. In Pato Branco, there, there is only one, I guess. Is there a movie theater where you live? Is there a movie theater in your city? Do you go to the movies in your city? In the pandemic? In pandemics, no, you, you don't go, right? Because you stay home. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Did you watch a movie? Did you visit your family? Did you study English? Did you sleep? What did you do last weekend? So these are some of the questions for you to practice at home, right? And then we have to listen and repeat the free time question. So is it here? Okay, let's go. 1.2. Listen and repeat. What kind of music do you listen to? Do you play a musical instrument? Which? What TV shows do you watch? Do you play any sports? Which ones? What kinds of books or magazines do you read? How often do you go to the movies? What did you do last weekend? Okay, so this is very important for you to listen many times and repeat again, okay? 1.2. So let me go to the next page now. Yeah, let me make this smaller. Here, the second page for us to finish the lesson. Now it's grammar for you to finish. If you have the book, you have to complete this page, the grammar. You have to put all these words in the right order, all right? So get a notebook. Let me show you what a notebook is. Yeah. Get a notebook, get a pen or a pencil. Yeah. And put these words in right order. For example, number one. What is the right order of the sentence? Born where your parents were. Where were your parents born? Where were your parents born? Now complete all the sentences, right? Complete the four sentences 
in your notebook, okay? Letter C, no, no, because this is conversation. We're gonna do this at home. Let me see. Then we're gonna do this next lesson. Now, let me show you this. And for you to finish, you have to remember the name, uh, the numbers, okay? Spelling and numbers, okay? Listen and write six first names. Now, let's listen. 1.7. One. One. What's your name? George. How do you spell it? G-E-O-R-G-E. -E. Two. One. What's your name? George. How do you spell it? G-E-O-R-G-E. -E. Two. What's your name? Celia. That's a pretty name. How do you spell it? C-E-L-I-A. Three. What's your name? Wayne Roberts. How do you spell your first name? W-A-Y-N-E. Four. What's your name? Katie. Is that K-A-T-Y? No, it's K-A-T-I-E. Five. What's your name? Hannah. Sorry, Hannah or Anna? Hannah with an H. H-A-N-N-A-H. Six. What's your name? Christopher. How do you spell it? C-H-R-I-S-T-O-P-H-E-R. Okay, so these are the six names. You have to listen again, listen to it again, repeat, repeat, and write down the six names, right? You have to pay attention to this. Now we have another activity here. How do you say these numbers in English? Do you know how to say these numbers in English? 13, 30, 76, 100, or 100, 150, 375, 600, 1,500, 2,000, 10,500. All right, so these are the numbers. Now, listen and write the numbers. So we have the gate, the telephone, dollars, miles, and population. Now, pay attention and write down. Well, it's not working. Let's do it again. 1.8. 1. Passengers on the JetBlue flight to San Diego, please go to gate number 40, where this flight is ready to board. 2. How far is it from New York City to Boston? I'm not sure. Let's Google it. Ah, it says here 244 miles. 3. Hello? It's Ben. I'm at the train station. Do you have Maria's cell phone number? Yes, just a minute. Okay. It's 212-555-8847. 212-555-8847? That's right. Four. Where do you live in Florida? I live in a town near Miami. How big is it? It's small. The population is only about 2,500 people. Five. Can I have two sodas and a bottle of water, please? Two sodas? Yes, and a bottle of water. How much is that? Six dollars and fifteen cents. Sorry, fifty or fifteen? Fifteen. Six dollars and fifteen cents. Okay, that's it. That's the first lesson for today. I want you to practice this, listen to it again, 
And then uh, for next lesson, we're going to study a little bit about uh, daily routine. Yeah. But please, I want you to post. I'm gonna. I'm going to open an activity in the classroom, and you have to type all these answers here. Okay. So thank you very much. Let me see where it is. Okay. See you next class. Bye bye.